Hello guys, welcome once again. Today I will show you how to insert your data and especially the data from your J date chooser into your database. For example, I choose a date so and I want to save it in my database. So I, how can I do that? I will show you today. So I have already made these text field and uh, the labels for inserting my data for pump ID and all uh, pressure, temperature and rotational speed. So this I have already told you so I, in order to save time I already made that and I also made a button for saving data <clears throat> now in order to save your date it should your date should be in a certain format because SQLite saves date in a certain for format only so just click your date, date chooser text field and go to its properties and in here date format string you need to change this format you need to do year I'm sorry you need to do year month and date skill only takes date in this format only first of all year then month and then the day format so just go to the property and in the date format string change this format of date so now it will come in that format first the year then the month and then the day after doing that now we want to insert our data so right click your save button action action performed and in here I have already made the try and catch block it's easy so you can make it and so then in try and catch block you must write string as always string SQL string well this is in the query we are going to write as a variable SQL so in here write insert into whatever your database name is my database name is database table name is user info so I will copy it and paste it here insert into table and then bracket in which you write uh, all the column names which are in my case pump ID date pressure temperature and volume flow and rotational speed so I will write these all column names to tell you uh, something uh, that SQLite or SQL is when you uh, whenever you uh, write a query you can 
write a word in capital letters or small letters the SQL is not case sensitive so it will take whatever capital letter or small letter you will write so it will not make much difference so so in the bracket I have written all the column names and then after values and in the bracket give same number of question mark as column so I have one two three four five six columns so I have to make six question marks so until here I have already told you how to save this data now I will write my connection which is PST is equal to on dot prepared statement and in here only I want SQL which is this string name here and then write PST dot set string and in here write our first parameter and our first parameter is we are taking from here first parameter is pump id so copy the name variable name of pump id text field and paste it here dot get text and in the in the same way we will make it six times copy and paste because we have six columns and six one two three four five six and just change here the values two three four five and six and here you have to write pst dot execute so don't forget that otherwise your query will not execute and in here we will change the variable name of the column which we are taking from these fields at the last I will change the date variable name because that's very important right now I will change the other variable names from here copy third variable name here and temperature variable name and I will paste it at the fourth position and volume flow rate so I have copied all the variable text field names except for the date so I will copy it I don't copy it right now I will write here after 2 I will make a bracket here and then I will I'm, because I'm taking it from J text field so I will write J text field and this is quoted by another bracket and after 
get uh, j text field bracket you need to copy your date variable names I will name it as date and copy I will name it as txt date so it's clear for us we are taking it from j date chooser and I will paste it just after the j text field bracket and then dot get get date editor dot get UI component you have to write this after that this is our initial bracket which I have made earlier after this bracket you need to write a dot get text so you have to write this line in order to take your date into your SQLite so after writing this code once again I will repeat it only for the date text field from date chooser because that's important all else you know I think so in for the date you should write pst dot set string two comma j text field and then your variable name text date in my case dot get date editor dot get ui component and bracket closed these bracket and then dot get text and now we try to run our program and in here we have six pump id so i will add another seventh id and date I will choose for example this in this format and pressure 20 temperature 34 volume flow rate this and speed this and when I save the program of uh, save the new data it's saved you can see and you cannot see right now the saved data but when you run the programs once again the table will be refreshed and you can see the new data is saved here so in this way you can use your date chooser to save your data so I hope you have learned something new today and thanks for now.